Hello everyone, in this video we're going to explain how to calculate the efficiency of 1500 watts of solar PV electrical panel versus 1500 watts of solar thermal panel shown here in the Arctica 1500 series air panel. And one thing to keep in mind is that solar PV is by far the dominating way to capture and use solar energy in today's economy. Almost all the homes that have solar panels on them, they're all solar PV and uh, the big fields of solar panels you see in the desert also all solar PV and that's because electricity is a great great medium for capturing power and transmitting it to useful places. Solar thermal really only works best when you use it at the point of use and that has limited its widespread adoption. However solar thermal is a much older approach to using solar energy and is very efficient. If you want to read more on this topic I would actually suggest you check out this book here uh, Let It Shine by John Perlin and um, this goes through kind of a 6,000 year history of solar and how it's evolved. It's really only in the last 30 years that solar PV has started to dominate that landscape. So with that let's talk about some efficiency here. So let's start with this solar PV panel. This PV panel here is actually a Trina TSM PC05A panel. This is a rated max efficiency of 16% 260 watts of max power output. Uh, for the purpose of this calculation, we'll just keep it at 250 to keep it easy. But it's about 1.6 meters of frontal area. That's important because solar is a disparate energy source. It's spread out over large amounts of area, so you, you need a large amount of area in your solar panel in order to collect that. The solar irradiance we're going to use is around 1,000 watts per meter squared. This is an industry, typical industry value. This is the amount of power that typically falls on a sunny day on a meter squared of land here on Earth. The power rating for this panel is 250 watts, as seen by the data sheet. So the efficiency calculation here is quite easy. It's 250 watts divided by the total incident uh, sunlight. And it's about 16% efficient, as we saw in the data sheet. So now let's look at a solar thermal panel and for the purpose of this conversation, we'll talk about the Arctica 1500 series Gen 3 panel. This is also about an area of 1.6 meters squared. Again, same solar irradiance that you'd use for a PV panel. The rated power here, which we actually calculate in our Arctica solar air heater introduction video, is 1,450 watts of now thermal, not electrical, but thermal energy or thermal power. And so your efficiency in this case is much higher at almost 90%. So because you have 90% efficiency for solar thermal, but you only have about 16% for PV, well, obviously, that's going to result in far more PV modules to reach the same power rating as you would for a solar thermal module. So you have 1,500 watts here, solar thermal, 1,500 watts here in six panels, 250 watts each. For solar PV. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Photovoltaics is always going to be less efficient than using thermal. It's much easier to convert sunlight into thermal energy than it is to photovoltaic energy. Uh, but of course, as we mentioned, solar thermal has the, the issue of you have to use it near your point of generation. It's really quite difficult to transport for, for long distances. The other side of this you need to consider, other than capacity, is of course the cost of a project. Now here in the US, a typical project cost today, this is April 2022, is around $2.75 a watt. And we're going to multiply that by our 1500 watt electric system. So if you're getting this done by an installer, it's probably going to be around four to $5,000. Now this would be a very small system for PV. Most PV systems are at least 4000 watts, some 8,000, 16,000, depending upon your load. So these system costs really do multiply quite quickly. And um, typically, you're not going to get into a solar PV system for less than $10,000 if you have a home here in the States. Um, and it could be as high as 20 or 30, depending upon uh, your load and the location of your house relative to the sun. The good news about a PV thermal system or adopting a PV thermal system such as a 1500 series solar air heater is the cost per watt is much lower because the efficiency is so much higher. You just have less stuff to install. So in another video, which we'll link to below, 
we estimate a cost of $1,299 to install a 1500 series uh, solar heater panel on your structure. This is a 1500 watt thermally rated panel. This is 87 cents a watt. So if you flip the equation around, it just gets back to the project cost of $1,299 to get 1500 watts of thermal energy versus 1500 watts of electrical. Of course, the assumption here is that the PV system in this example would really only be used for heating. Um, but PV systems are actually a lot more useful than that. You can use the electricity for any, any manner of electrical load and you can use it year-round, whereas typically solar air heaters usually just are used during the winter months and, uh, um, and shut down or shut, or, or shut off seasonally during the summer months. So, so with that, we appreciate your attention. And if you have any questions, you can, of course, email us or visit our website. And we'll talk to you later.